Unfortunately, certain cancer diagnoses offer very little hope. There are a lot of treatments being tested, but perhaps some of those medicines, they need a little help. Only News 3's Danica Lewis has the story behind a unique study that is happening right here in Madison. This week, doctors and researchers at the UW are sitting down with a drug developer, mapping out the latest clinical trial. They're hoping the new medicine and a more limited menu can help some of the most vulnerable patients, those with metastatic breast cancer. It's a chance. It's a chance that it might work. I might as well take the chance. That's the mentality Mary Roberts has had ever since she was diagnosed. I thought for sure I was going to die. I really, really did. Starting with those scary moments back in 1998, her triple negative breast cancer got Mary taking those chances on drugs that hadn't been proven to improve her chances. I am very hopeful that we will see through these clinical trials a, uh, a solution, a, cu a cure or a way to keep this at bay, particularly triple negative. The latest patient trial began here in the labs of UW's Carbone Cancer Center with Dr. Vincent Crimes. It's more than a job, I'd say. There's a way to knock down a cancer cell's defenses through so-called death receptor pathways. If the death receptors aren't activated, they're not doing much to help kill off the cancer. The route has to be turned on, in a sense, for a cell to be vulnerable. Drugs that work through those receptors are only somewhat effective on their own. We're showing that we can use this diet to prime the tumor cells to make them respond better to a cancer drug. Dr. Krines has proven in mice that a vegan diet takes away a key nutrient cancer cells use to put up those protections, making it easier for the drug to get in and do its work. So we're in a sense stressing the tumor cells, lowering their, in, their defenses, if you will, and now making them more vulnerable to cell death. Any new treatment for triple negative breast cancer is very exciting. Dr. Ruth O'Regan, head of oncology at UW, says this trial will be one of a kind for the diagnosis. I think we're at the tip of the iceberg with this. I think we're going to find that dietary modification may be very important in using other drugs as well. Why not harness the, the power of nutrition uh, to make cancer drugs work better? I walk in gratefulness every day for having the treatment that I have. Mary's ready to test more drugs, try more diets, and take more chances. I have two granddaughters. And since I have the BRCA gene, I'd like to see it get knocked out you know, before then. So we have an opportunity to create some hope where there isn't a lot of hope. Now, even if this clinical trial proves a vegan diet can help take out triple negative breast cancer, Dr. Krein says that we can't be too quick to generalize the results. Even with restrictions, he says vegan options can vary, and so do the nutrients involved. Nevertheless, this link could be the first discovery of its kind. For WISC News 3, I'm Danica Lewis. The clinical trial will look at 112 patients with the triple negative breast cancer, half on the vegan diet, the other half on just the drug. Boy, there is some amazing research yeah. being done here in Madison, and the drug is far from FDA approval, but the prospect, as you just heard, is very exciting for doctors and patients alike. Yeah, very exciting.